Welcome to Mars. I'm Feedback Gaming and I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to get you started on the new expansion for surviving Mars, Green Planet. Today, we're going to talk about vegetation. Once you research Martian vegetation, you'll be able to construct the forestation plant. This will allow you to use the new resource of seeds to improve the soil quality and increase the planet's vegetation. One of the easiest ways of getting seeds is to import it from Earth. You can also produce the seed crop directly on Mars through your own farms. But just be aware, before you do this, you won't be able to produce your normal crops at this farm. So make sure you've got an excess food supply. Once you've got the forestation plan and seeds, you can start producing your first vegetation. The easiest plant to grow on Mars are lichens. These improve soil quality and use a minimal amount of seeds. If you want to check the progress you're making, you can select a forestation plan and then click show soil quality overlay. And as you can see right now, we are making progress here and here. Once you've improved the soil quality, you'll be able to grow more adventurous vegetation. In this case, grass, then bushes, and finally trees. The larger plants require more seeds to grow, but will return seeds back to you once they're harvested by drones. You can keep an eye on soil quality by looking at the soil quality overlay here. Or if you select any vegetation plant, you can check the soil quality here. Having an ample supply of seeds is worthwhile because you need those seeds to grow crops on open farms. As you progress through the terraforming process and add more vegetation to the planet, you'll also find other parts of the planet that you've not had forestation plants to become more fertile. At first, vegetation spread will be slow, but as you plant more seeds, that will speed up more and more, which you'll be able to see in the planetary view. The end result is a fully terraformed Mars with access to seeds from the vegetation, which are used in open farms to grow crops, which will be fully automated due to the drones doing all the work. Next week, we're going to look at the special projects you can activate that will speed up the terraforming process. And don't forget to subscribe for more Green Planet tutorials coming up next week.